What is going on, managers, and welcome back to a brand new video from me. Today, we're looking at the newly appointed Chelsea manager. Yeah, Pochettino, we're having a look at his tactics, seeing how it worked at Southampton, Espanyol, and Spurs, and also PSG, and seeing will this work at Chelsea with these players that he's got in now. Only one time at all. So let's get straight to the video and check out how Pochettino will run. Chelsea Football Club. Right, before we get into the video, guys, hopefully you can hit that like and hit the subscribe for me. I'll be out massively with the algorithms of old YouTube. It'd be great to smash them. So thank you very much for clicking on the video and checking it out. But we are here for one thing, and I'm checking out this Chelsea squad and seeing what Pochettino can do with this side. Now, Pochettino does normally play the 4-2-3-1, so we are going to play that kind of formation and just put a few plays in there who I think will suit down Pochettino's team and his tactic as well. We've got some wonderful plays that have been brought in this year as well. Uh, Enzo Fernandez coming in there. Jao Felix on loan, which has been phenomenal. Mudrix is in there as well. Kai Havertz playing that as that striker role, which is really good as well. You can see a lot of variation from them and just how good they can be and how good they'll be to adapt because they're going to be playing this very attacking style of football that Pochettino does of getting the ball back, trying to press down, try and get the ball back off them and try and get a attack off as soon as possible so it's going to be interesting to see how these players adapt to that and how they're going to form when they are set up in this formation so as you can see up top we did finish third in the premiership i think chelsea would take that right now we only finished six points away from manchester city and liverpool which was very close but we'll take it kai havertz actually came second top goal scorer in the league as well managing 22 and one uh, one thing you want to look at there as well is with Pochettino's kind of style of play and how he uses his wingbacks, Rhys James actually got 18 assists this season, which was the best in the league. And the use of the wingbacks and how Pochettino builds his attacks with the wingbacks, that is very good for us and really, really strong and showing promise that this tactic actually suits Pochettino's style of play. With this as well, if we go to the homepage, you can see that we actually scored 98 goals with this. It was the best in the Premiership as well. We scored the most goals. Okay, we conceded 49, which was the ninth best in the league. We could potentially done better with that with a defensive structure as well. But attacking style, this was one of the best in the league, managing to get us 98 goals, which is crazy for us. This is a tactic that I was kind of running. It's a 4-2-3-1. It's very simple as well with how it's done as well. Two attacking wingbacks. That's what I was on about with them. Really Really strong wing backs. That's what Pochettino does. He focuses his play down on the wing backs. And you can see there, Chilwell and Reese James, two phenomenal full backs. And Reese James, obviously, getting the most assists in the league just proves how phenomenal it was and how well it worked to get these wing backs in the play so that they could be part of this attack because they are crucial to this side there as well. Many is that sweeper keeper, two ball playing defenders as well, cooler ball in Fofana. Fofana was brilliant, got one of the highest rated in the league for how he played, so he did really well for us there as well. Fernandez just playing as that normal CM, just mopping up, being around in the positions as well as Kante playing that box to box, kind of the style of play that Tottenham would play when they had the likes of Dan Ali Ali in the team as well as Harry Winks in there, Sissoko as well. So you had them kind of style of players are there. Show you a picture here, you can see how they set up and you can really see how they are really in this like structure of passing the ball and always moving the ball. They always know where the second pass is. So one of Pochettino's ways of moving around the ball and getting further forward in the field was actually to get the ball down, pass it short passing and be that three steps ahead to get the ball forward and keep moving, moving, moving and work our way up and in instigate passes in kind of shapes really and that's kind of what he did and how he influenced it and how he got from starting at the goalkeeper all the way up to the attacking half as you can see there as well we do have a bit of shorter passing which is the style of play that they want as well we do play out of defense because we want him playing from the goalkeeper and getting out there as well we do have the overlap on the left and right so we want them getting forward just a standard tempo of football as well we don't go to it too fast or too slow just a normal standard of football there and then also we do run at the defenders so we do want the wingers getting a bit involved and pushing in as well as you can see we've got Mudrich and we do have Sterling in there and playing Sterling as an inside forward kind of a role that I think Son would play quite well with the uh, inside winger also at PSG you'd have the likes of Messi and Neymar there both could play inside wingers they are more of an attacking role than they are getting back and doing the defensive duties so we've kind of stuck Sterling on an attacking role there whereas Mudrick on the other side who kind of was like Christian Eriksen was playing out on the wing at some time at Spurs and we just put him on that side as well as you can see the DLF is Kai Havertz Pochettino plays this kind of DLF. He did it with Harry Kane when he was at Spurs. And also he did it with Lambert as well when he was at Southampton. So it's very interesting to see and if they can adapt Kai Havertz to that. Or are they going to have to look for a new striker to come in to get that goal scoring one and be in the same build as like your Lambert and your Harry Kane to fit the same style of football that 
Pochettino wants to play, but they could go down a different route there. But we have gone with what he has played previously, and that is that DLF playing as Kai Havertz there. Very good. And also, we've got Felix playing as an advanced playmaker, just gaining a little bit further up. He could drop down a little bit. That's why I've got him on support, because I want him to drop back into this bottom sentiment there so they come into like a flat three sometimes when defending so it also helps that he's on support we don't go too attacking with him it works perfectly well as well because he drops the ball down picks it up and runs with it it's absolutely great and then when we are in transition we do just like play to the center offs and then we counter and counter press try and get that ball back because as you'll see Pochettino plays a really high press from this picture here you can see that all the players are actually pushing on players and trying to get that ball back from really in the opposition's corner place really so it's a high line of very high line of engagement there trying to get the ball back and you can see that on of out of possession we play a very high pressing line of engagement with prevent goalkeeper distribution as well and also more often on the trigger press with a high defensive line so that's what you're going to see from attacking style try and get the ball back as quick as possible and try and get that goal it seems to work really well with this type of team as you can see we've got some very good fast wingers as well as amazing wing backs so that style is going to work perfectly with Pochettino. We did do very well, like I say. Unfortunately, third in the league. We got knocked out in the last 16 of the Champions League. Uh, fifth round and then third round. We had a very poor cup runs, but we did well in the in the Premiership to get us that Champions League football back. So let's have a look at a couple of goals, how we were scoring, and we'll go from there. As you see, we start for our centre. I'll see if Fanny gets the ball. Going to look for the right pass. Finds Kante in the centre there. Back, just building that play up. Looking for the wingers. That's what we want, the overlapping wingers. Finds Mason Mount. It's a lucky deflection through there. And Kai Havertz just gets on the end of the ball. But we did go through the wing backs like we normally do. That's the style of football that we want. As Havertz picks up. Reese James yet again being back on that ball. Going to go across. Strikes the ball in. And also gain on the score sheet as well as gain the assist. He's going to whip a corner in though. Gets the assist on that one, which we love to see. Nice little assist from the corner there and also he's going to run down this wing push it into Kante he's going to loop back for him and hopefully get a good ball in all the way across and Enzo Fernandez mops it all just proving how clinical it is for Reese James on that wing to get that ball in and get the assist in using the fullbacks fully emerging in the fullbacks and getting the ball through you can see we went on a very good run at the end here let's have a look at some of the Spurs goals so we pick up the ball up with Enzo through the centre. Jao Felix being that advanced playmaker there. Finding to Mason Mount all the way across. And it's a great play. Using Mason Mount as that inside forward there. Gain the ball through. Reese James with a cross in. Being clinical yet again with his crossing ability. It's beautiful to see. Another one from Reese James there. Which is going to be flicked in. And we are pretty deadly on set pieces here. So Chalabar is playing in that right position this time. He's been our Reese James as he was out. Comes into the box. Shows his performance. And look at that. Gaining into the box and scoring goals. Absolutely phenomenal from our right back. Using the space. Once again, Aspilicueta over on that right-hand side this time. Going to try and bring it in. Kovacic all the way across. Mudrik gets a great goal for us. Just that play from being outside on the wings is absolutely deadly for us. And you're just showing how good we can be and how deadly we can be just by using an them wingers and wing backs it's just all down to there and just allowing the passing movement inside the middle of the field to create the space for the outside lads it works absolutely phenomenal well that is a quick roundup guys of pochettino's tactic and it's worked really well for us maybe we could try and push to try and be a little bit more defensive what i could do there is bring one of these boys back into a more defensive role and just solidify that dm roll up there but that is what has worked for us and i think that suits pochettino down to a t and really well but if you did enjoy this video guys please leave a like and subscribe again it helps me out massively also you can see me live over at twitch to twitch.tv for slash tick 147 where you can see more content like this and more live action up stuff from me so get over there hit the follow button on that channel it'd be amazing if you can do and guys thank you very much for taking a little part of your day checking out my content it means absolute world to me i'll catch you all next time much love and bye bye